what's happening YouTube my name is Alex and welcome to a new review for today I have a different product I have a mini PC called the K8 and as you probably seen already it is very very small so you basically get a rubber keyboard and a little box that's actually the mini PC and I have to say that I'm quite impressed with this mini PC I've been using it since yesterday and I'm actually gonna replace that old um, Windows desktop that I'm uh, using I have a very old like nine year old uh, Windows desktop that I use uh, sometimes to reply to like comments on YouTube and stuff like that so this mini PC it's actually gonna get uh, that uh, desktop space because uh, well it is uh, this big and I'm not gonna have all those cables uh, all over so we have an Intel processor, it's a quad-core processor, uh, it's not the fastest processor, but it is actually faster than my old uh, PC. Yeah, I said that before, my old PC is like 9 years old, and it still works. So uh, aside from that, we have 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. So not that much, but the mini PC costs around $170 or so, so not that expensive. So in the box we get like a leather pouch, however it's fake leather, uh, we get the HDMI cable, a little manual and the power adapter and of course the mini PC in that uh, fake leather pouch. Now the mini PC itself, so it is definitely different, we get this rubber keyboard and I have to say that it is a bit different to type on this rubber keyboard, I still haven't got uh, used to this rubber keyboard and I would have actually preferred if I have just got uh, the little box and use uh, a different keyboard. You can still do that if you like plug in a keyboard to the mini PC. So aside from that uh, keyboard that doesn't have any lights on it, so you don't know when you have like the caps lock on and uh, when it's off, so that's the downside to it. So aside from that we get the actual mini PC which is like a little black box. On top of it it's the mouse pad so basically the entire box is the mouse. You can do some gestures so you can click once and that becomes like the left click of the mouse. If you click with two fingers that becomes the right click of the mouse. You can also zoom in and zoom out um, on the little trackpad and there are a couple of other gestures that um, are in the manual there. So that's the entire mini PC. We also have a Wi-Fi antenna so you can connect this to the Wi-Fi and it's got dual band Wi-Fi. On the back we have the port for the power adapter, the VGA port and a HDMI port. So very very easy and very small. And lastly on the right hand side of the mini PC we have two USB ports, one of them it's a USB 3.0. We have a little slot for an SD card, the 3.5mm audio jack. Um, we also have the power button and a reset button. And believe it or not, we even get a little microphone inside this uh, mini PC somewhere. So I believe the hole for the microphone is sitting on the front. So yeah, I did actually talk uh, with this microphone. I was asking uh, Windows some questions and it actually works really, really good. So yes, I'm super excited about this mini PC. I actually love it. It's the best thing uh, I got from China in a while. And mostly because I'm gonna get rid of my uh, desktop, uh, which is very big and I have a lot of cables that I don't like and I kind of hate. So now that I showed you how the mini PC looks like, uh, I'm gonna start recording the screen. I'll show you some benchmark tests, some gaming and a whole bunch of stuff uh, that we can actually see from the windows. So let's get on with that. And it takes about 45 seconds uh, for this mini PC to start up Windows. So this is uh, the main screen that we get. Uh, I did install a whole bunch of uh, things on it. So let's start by going to settings here. Here we're going to go to system. Here at display we can check out uh, the screen resolution. So that's the maximum resolution for this uh, screen that I have connected. What else do we have here? We can uh, go to storage for example. So uh, I did install a whole bunch of uh, stuff so I'm probably using about 2 gigs. Otherwise we would have um, about 15 gigs used out of that 64 that comes uh, as internal storage. And let me show you the speeds for the internal storage uh, before we go any further because I uh, did check this out. So they're not the fastest speeds out there, however they are actually faster than my old uh, PC. So I was very very happy to see that they are faster than my old PC. And just a bit more uh, for the settings app here. Uh, basically you can see the connected uh, devices, so definitely the screen, uh, whatever uh, keyboard I have. So the keyboard of uh, the mini PC, my uh, mouse that I have connected and that uh, USB flash uh, drive. So yeah, a whole bunch of uh, options, basically like any other uh, Windows uh, device. 
Okay, and moving back to the settings app here. So there isn't anything else that I can possibly show you from here. So I wanted to show you this uh, benchmark test that I've done. So if you look here, you can see the score. So it's 541. So this is a very low score. But check out the score that I got for my old PC that I uh, am still using. So yeah, a very, very different uh, score there. So this is definitely faster than my um, old PC. Now, if I click on this here, let me show you how to... Okay, so uh, here we can check out some uh, parts of the mini PC. So if I click on this, we can see the video card. If I move back, we can see the storage. So uh, there is some Samsung uh, storage in there. Let's uh, move back. If I click on this, uh, we can see the motherboard. And this is the RAM. So uh, even though we don't have that much RAM, as I said before, uh, this still has more RAM than uh, my old PC. And uh, the processor. So this is basically the processor that we have. Again, this is not a fast processor by any means, but um, you can do a whole bunch of stuff uh, with it. And this is the temperature for this processor uh, at this particular time. And we can probably leave this open and check this uh, again uh, after I play a game or something so we can see how uh, the processor uh, heats up. I've also checked out the speeds for Wi-Fi. So we have dual band uh, Wi-Fi here. So on the 2.4 GHz uh, Wi-Fi network, we don't get the fastest speeds. We get about uh, 10 download and 10 upload. Uh, I guess that's not uh, the best. And uh, on the 5 GHz Wi-Fi network, we get uh, some decent speeds and we can actually use uh, these speeds for a whole bunch of stuff. So that's uh, how this uh, is. Let me open a website here, for example. Oh, and I was going to show you how um, that uh, microphone uh, works. Give me just a second. So um, let's open uh, the Globe and Mail here. I just want to scroll uh, up and down so you can have an idea how uh, well it does. So as you can probably tell, it does uh, do fairly good. And if I use the touchpad, like the mouse pad that uh, comes with this, I can even uh, zoom in and zoom back out afterwards. So uh, pretty cool that uh, you can use that uh, to zoom in and uh, stuff. All right, so we'll close uh, Chrome from here. You can even watch uh, YouTube videos and uh, this does uh, still better than my old PC. So um, the maximum resolution, uh, it's gonna be 1080p. However, if you do have like a 4K uh, video, you can select that resolution, but the video will not go good at all. So uh, let me leave this at 1080p. We'll give it a second or so uh, to buffer and uh, I'll play it so you can have an idea how uh, how it looks. I found that 720p is probably the best uh, resolution to watch YouTube videos because uh, even at 1080p sometimes uh, it starts buffering and uh, so on and it kind of uh, lags. So this is at 1080p here and uh, it does do okay. It's uh, still better than my old PC but if we switch to 720p for example Let's uh, switch to 720p. It does uh, much, much better uh, without any issues whatsoever. Uh, but again, uh, it's this is not the most powerful processor, so keep that uh, in mind. But you can still uh, watch some uh, YouTube videos. So that's about it for um, the browser. Now I have Kodi that I've installed, uh, so let me open uh, Kodi here. Um, I do have some add-ons that I've uh, installed, and as you can probably tell it did start uh, quite fast. Let's go to videos here for a second and uh, let's see video add-ons and let's check this one for example. I'm not sure if uh, this one works or not. I installed a couple just so I can show you how uh, it works. Let's see if uh, it actually works. Maybe not. Let's try this one maybe. So let's try ABC News. And as you can probably tell, uh, it did start uh, right away. I have no idea what uh, we are watching, but uh, oh, something with the Walking Dead, I guess. But um, yeah, Cody starts uh, right away and it does work really, really good. Um, I'm going to actually plug in my USB stick. So let's plug in my USB stick so we can uh, check out some files. We can even uh, watch them uh, with a Windows Media Player, basically. So let's see if we can find uh, that uh, USB stick. 
So for example, this 1080p file from here works uh, really good without any issues. And let me fast forward a bit and uh, I'll let it play for a second or so, so you guys can see how uh, well it does. I cannot play this on my old uh, PC. Yeah, I know that sounds uh, crazy, but uh, this one works much better than my old garbage PC for anything that I try. So this uh, file works good. Let me go back. Uh, this one I haven't actually tried, but uh, it seems to work uh, okay as well. Let's see what other files we have. So, for example, this 59 frames per second 4K video, it's not gonna work, so I can click on it. But uh, all I'm gonna see is a black screen, so nothing is actually gonna happen. So, well, it kind of starts, but as you can probably tell, uh, you can barely watch it. So yeah, this one at uh, 60 frames per second definitely not uh, gonna happen. This one uh, does a bit better, it's a 4K file at 50 frames per second. So just a tiny bit uh, better, but again it takes uh, a while till it starts up. And as you can probably tell, uh, it's not that great. However, if we do watch this uh, with a Windows Media Player, um, it does work uh, better. But the other uh, file at 60 frames per second still doesn't uh, do good. Um, however, if we watch this 4K file, uh, it works okay. And this was uh, filmed with my phone, but it's at like 24 frames per second or uh, something like that. And all the other files uh, will do just fine. So, for example, this 720p will uh, do okay. So it's a okay media player uh, if you're planning to get this uh, like uh, as a media player device you can still watch uh, a whole bunch of uh, stuff and uh, they do seem to work uh, really really good. I haven't tried this one. Let's see if this one uh, works. And this one actually works uh, too. So uh, how about this one? I'm sure this one is not gonna work no matter what. But out of curiosity to see what happens. So as I was expecting, oh, no way, this is actually working. So I wasn't actually expecting that this uh, would work. So yeah, this actually works. Unbelievable. Most TV boxes cannot play uh, this file, like they cannot. But uh, on this one, it seems that uh, it works uh, pretty good. So I'm quite impressed that this one uh, works. I wasn't actually gonna, gonna try it. So check out how fast Cody exits. And it's uh, already out. So yeah, it does uh, seem to work uh, very good. And uh, let me show you how Cortana works. Show me the weather tomorrow. Show me the weather tomorrow. The forecast for tomorrow shows cloudy skies with a high of... And uh, we can even see the weather. So very, very cool. Um, another thing I wanted to show you, for example, Asphalt Extreme. So uh, let me just uh, check the temperature for the processor. So the processor is still at 60 degrees, so not that hot uh, still. So I'm going to close this. And let me open uh, Asphalt Extreme uh, and I'm going to play a bit so you have a better idea how uh, Asphalt Extreme uh, does. So I skipped forward a bit so I don't make you guys uh, wait that long. So check this out. You can actually play uh, Asphalt Extreme on this. This is like the beginning uh, mode whatever. But uh, the graphics seem to look uh, fairly good uh, for this uh, slow processor. So let me just press S here. So yeah, I was definitely not expecting this would be faster than my um, old uh, PC. So let, uh, let me play a bit more so you can have a better idea how it does. Yeah, gotta love these uh, tutorials. So definitely an awesome, awesome uh, mini PC and mostly for its price of uh, like $170, I think it's really, really good. I would have never thought of uh, actually buying anything like this. I always thought that they're like way too slow, but uh, this one has uh, changed my mind uh, quite a lot. So uh, let's see how to exit this. So exit, oh, that was uh, quite easy. So what else uh, could I possibly show you? So here we even have uh, Bluetooth. You can just uh, press uh, on this here. These are the Wi-Fi networks. And um, 
where is the Bluetooth? Hold on a second. So if we go back to settings here, uh, and there was the Bluetooth here somewhere because I uh, did connect my uh, gamepad earlier uh, to this, but uh, yeah, I can't find the Bluetooth at this uh, particular time. But uh, yeah, we even have uh, Bluetooth here and the uh, window seems to work uh, fairly good. I did uh, do like a virus scan to see if uh, there is anything strange uh, going on, but uh, nothing seems to, to be strange and everything seems to work uh, fairly good. Uh, hopefully you liked uh, this video. I'm not sure what else I could possibly show you about Windows. Windows, it's Windows basically and uh, everything seems to work really good. I haven't had any single uh, program crashing. The Windows didn't crash uh, in the past day that I've been using this. And you can basically let this uh, on all the time. You don't even have to like turn it off. There is like no fan inside of it. It's like a little basically tablet in a box or something like that. So definitely cool, uh, very, very cool thing. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, press that like button. If you have any questions or any tests that uh, you want me to do, I can probably do them and uh, reply in a comment. Um, if you did like this video, yeah, press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.